Hi, my name is Sean Tang. We're here at my restaurant in Soho, Pinch Chinese. What we know here are soup dumplings are called Xiaolongbao in China. The Xiaolongbao is really, it's a combination of two aspects of the dumpling. Xiaolong is what the dumplings are cooked in. That's the actual, what the bamboo steamer is called. It's called a Xiaolong. A Xiaolong in Chinese means little dragon. And then the bao is just a general term for kind of the pocket of where the dumpling is. There are various types of soup dumplings throughout China. There's a thicker style of skin and a thinner style of skin. The thicker style of skin you may recognize and it's more predominant here in New York. Those tend to be larger, maybe two, three bite dumplings. The thinner skin dumplings tend to be smaller and more of a one bite dumpling. So the style of dumpling we serve here is the thinner skin, smaller variety. Um, that's predominant both in Shanghai and in Taiwan. People think that there's a secret to our dumplings. There isn't, I hate to say. It's just years of training and hard work and knowing the proper steps to do it. So the way we make our soup dumplings here at Pinch Chinese, uh, everything is done from scratch in the house. So every morning, the chefs come in early on to make the skin, and it's just water and flour. We have a machine that folds over the skin, and they do that 20, 30 times um, until it's the right texture and the right firmness, and then they build that out throughout the rest of the day. After the dough's been folded over by the machine, they portion them out into individual sized discs by hand. Um, and those are flattened and rolled out for every single dumpling. So every day they make broth that they then cool down and chill in the fridge and the freezer. And then that becomes a gelatin that they use in the soup dumpling. They grind Berkshire Her Heritage pork and aromatics, including ginger and scallion. And they build the soup dumpling base and they introduce the gelatinized pork soup or chicken soup or seafood soup into the soup dumpling itself and then they fold it into a soup dumpling. They're folded the same every single time. The chefs fold them in a circle counterclockwise. At our restaurant is between 18 and 20 folds. The reason these dumplings are folded this way is because you actually want to allow heat to escape the dumpling during the cooking process. Otherwise, the soup could cause it to explode. Each steamer of soup dumplings here is cooked for about five minutes to five minutes and 30 seconds. Our chefs check it throughout the cooking process. So they're looking at every steamer to make sure that the dumplings are kind of coming out looking right. If it looks right, then it probably tastes right. When people have never had soup dumplings before, it's, it becomes fairly obvious. The most common mistake we see people make when eating soup dumplings the first time is they try and take a half bite of a soup dumpling. There's soup in there. If you take a half bite, the soup's going everywhere. So, you know, there's, there's several different ways you can eat a soup dumpling and not burn your mouth off. You know, you grab it and you put it in the spoon, pinch the side with your chopsticks to break the skin, and a great soup dumpling, that'll be easy to do. Um, because the skin, skin should be pretty thin um, and it's elastic, so it won't shatter, kind of. It won't just break like a piece of paper. You just kind of pull apart gently. So then you can see that the dumpling itself is now soupless and the soup is in the spoon and by now it's cool enough to drink. You know, there's different ways to enjoy the dumpling after that. I know people who love it with soy sauce and vinegar. And me personally, I just like the dumplings by itself, just au natural, I guess. So now if you bite the top off, you got this nice open dumpling. The soup is still on the inside, so then you can either pour it out into your spoon or you can just slip it right out. A little black vinegar on the inside. And there you have it, two ways to eat a soup dumpling.